Hey everybody, it's Brian from PNB Homesteading. I want to give you an update for the lower deck garden boxes. I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be doing today to make some changes. So we beat back the aphids. We actually had a bunch of ladybugs show up and they came in and wiped out a bunch of it. I did spray it with some uh, insecticidal soap. And so you can see there's a little bit of dye off there. But the, uh, for the most part, the aphids are all dead and crusted. You can see they're pretty much just a bunch of powdery, powdery dust at this point. And we had a bunch of uh, ladybugs show up last week, so that was pretty cool. Paula came out and said that there was a bunch munching on the aphids. <laughs> and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna move the shade cloth. I found that it seems like it gets a little better shading. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over back here and have the shade go this way. That way we capture the morning sun. And then as it gets hotter, you know, we get the hot afternoon sun, it'll be overhead, like right about here. We'll have the shade kind of going over the top of all this. So it actually, will, I think it'll be a better, better shade block at that point. Because right now, the wind actually keeps taking it and flipping the shade cloth over the top here and flipping it over the backside, like it is now. And I don't want to have to keep tucking it in and I don't want to have to hold it down. I want it to leave it loose. So if it wants to naturally go blow back over here, I'm just going to move the shade cloth over here and mount the posts down in this side. So I think it'll be a little better than what it is now. The kales seem to be doing pretty well. You know, right now at time of the day, this is when they get a little limp and droopy. I watered them this morning, but uh, it's almost noon now and they're the direct sun up there. As you can see over the top of the maple. So they're getting a little bit of a beating at this point, but then, you know, they don't get the harshest part of the afternoon sun because once it hits about 2 o'clock, these are all shaded, and it's usually shaded all the way up to this point on the deck. And then the shade, of course, from the house comes up in here and shades about up to here. So, you don't have to worry too much. You can see everything seems to be going to seed, which is good because all the little birds are coming and they're feeding off a lot of this. So I love to feed the little birds that come around because they come through and they also eat the bad bugs. Paula's got some onions here. We cut off a bunch of the onions and had those this week for uh, Taco Tuesday. So they're in regrowth mode for a lot of these. Chives seem to be doing well. The uh, spinach seems to be trying to come back a little bit, but I think this week it's going to pretty much be gone because we're supposed to have, I think, all this next week is going to be in the, the not mid to, let's see, 90 to mid 90s. So that's going to decimate the, uh, that stuff right there. It's not going to survive. But of course, I've got to show you guys a little poinsettia. Seems to be doing pretty good out here in the outdoors. Paula did have it over here on that side of the house. So we may move it back over there. But I thought I would try to put it over here for today because we have a bunch of company coming over for Father's Day. And I can show off, you know, hey, look, we've got a poinsettia outside here in Oregon. <laughs> All right. Well, this has kind of been the update for the lower deck with the uh, the garden boxes that Paula's been maintaining because uh, they need a little extra watering. <laughs> but so she likes to feel like she's getting to help with the garden. That's a win-win for me. All right, talk to you guys again. Bye.